First of all, coming towards the introduction of a bacteriophage. They are commonly known as phages and they are viruses that infects and replicates within the bacterial cells. Uh, they are composed of several distinct components that work together to infect and lyse the host cell. Understanding the components of a bacteriophage virus is essential understanding its life cycle and how it causes the infection. Now you can see the a model that is a kind of not that much detailed but uh, it contains actually the fundamental components of a bacteriophages. Uh, I will start from the genetic material. Uh, the genetic material of a bacteriophage can be either DNA or RNA and it carries the genetic information required for the replication. Uh, let me adjust to a side and so I can make some notes. Uh, yes, uh, it can be DNA or RNA. It carries the genetic information required for the replication and uh, assembly of new virus particles within the host cell. During infection, the viral genetic material is injected into the host cell where it hijacks the host cell machinery to replicate itself and produce new virus particles. So uh, this DNA or RNA whatsoever it is, <clears throat> we'll call it as a viral genome. It is actually encapsulated by the capsid. Now, what is the capsid? The capsid is the outermost layer of bacteriophage and it is made up of proteins called capsomeres. The capsid provides protection to the genetic material inside the virus and aids in the attachment of virus to the host cell. It also plays a critical role in the injection of the viral genetic material into the host cell during the infection. Now uh, the capsid is followed by the collar and the collar contains uh, components you can see in the red they are whiskers. Uh, whiskers are actually the extension of this collar region and they control retraction and extension of tail fibers in response to certain environmental conditions. The next part is the sheath or we call it as a tail tube. It is a hollow tubular structure that is located between the tail fibers and the base plate. Uh, let me zoom out so you can see the base plate where the long tail fibers are attached. Uh, actually this tail tube is hollow tubular structure that is located between tail fibers and base plate. It is responsible for the transport of viral genetic material from bacteriophage to the host during the infection. Once the bacteriophage attaches on the surface of the bacteria, this sheath is actually contractile. It can contract itself and can inject the DNA through its tubular structure into the uh, bacterial host. Next to this sheet is the base plate. You can see that both type of fibers are attached. Either they are long tail fibers or short tail fibers. So we will see the base plate in this, in this perspective. So the base plate is located at the end of the tail and is responsible for the attachment of bacteriophage to the host cell surface. It contains specialized proteins that interact with specific receptors on the bacterial cell surface and uh, enable the injection of viral genetic material into the host cell. Uh, then there is a category of the fibers either one of them is the long tail fibers and the others are short tail fibers. Uh, let me uh, discuss the tail fibers in general. Tail fibers are hair like structures that protrude from the tail of bacteriophage they are involved in the recognition and uh, binding of the host cell surface receptors which is the first step in the viral infection process. And the tail fibers helps the bacteriophage attach to specific bacterial cells and prevent it infecting other, the targets other than the target cells. 
uh, like they are non-targeted cells uh, you can see in the blue these are short tail fibers yes they uh, and next to it uh, you can see a hollow and cylindrical tube that is protruding from the sheath or from the tail tube uh, the short tail fibers are an integral part of the base plate they are actually at the end of the tail and uh, trigger the tail's contraction after binding to the host cell so uh, remaining component is the long tail fibers these are the long tail fibers in the orange they actually allows the bacteriophage to anchor to the bacterial host cell, cell surface so it's easier to make the whole of the virus stable for the injection of the genetic material into the bacterial host so this was the brief introduction and uh, the explanation of the components of bacteriophage uh, in the end I would like to say that the components of a bacteriophage virus work together in a coordinated manner to infect and replicate within bacterial cells the capsid provides uh, let me keep the model in the center with the gene uh, with the viral genome in view yes the capsid provides production to the genetic material while the tail fibers and base plate aid in the recognition and binding of the host cell surfaces uh, host cell surface receptors actually the tail tube facilitates the transport of the viral genetic material into the host cell where it takes over the host cell machinery to replicate and produce new virus particles understanding the components of a bacteriophage is essential for developing effective strategies to combat the bacterial infections uh, this was all about the model of the bacteriophage which I have uh, made recently for one of my virology competition at my university and uh, some of its illustrations are available at the Shutterstock I will share the link you can go there you can see and if you are interested you can download those illustrations from the Shutterstock as well as the Adobe stock so this was all about uh, this video uh, thanks for watching.